And what's your name? Uh, Steve. Steve. Yeah. Just, just Steve. Well, I mean, if you're not willing to be forthright with me, then this interview is probably going to be over. Oh, really? How come? Well, because I don't know what you're doing here. Just working on something. I also need to petition. Okay. Well, what do you need to petition? Seek redress of grievances. Okay. Well, it's one of the five. Have things. you submitted your paperwork? No, I'm getting ready to do it. So, okay, am I going to be allowed to petition or not? Or are you guys trespassing me before I petition? Uh, you can file petition paperwork remotely if you need to. And so, what's with the camera and the? Oh, it's just part of what I use for work. And your work is? Uh, working on stories. For? Myself. All right, well, they're involved? requesting that you trespass at the... For what? What crime do they commit? They don't have to have a crime. It's a private property. So, and the mask, is that for COVID? Well, I mean, you can probably hear my sexy, uh, Barry White voice right now. Unfortunately, I've got a cold. So, yeah, that's what it's for. So, sir, is there anything else that you wanted to comment on about? Or Here, let me show you where the door is. Right this way. Oh, hey. Right this way, please. Hey, you're touching me. No, I'm asking you, you to leave. You need to back off. Do I'm you asking you to leave the premises. I'm not leaving the premises. Hey everyone, I am free. It's March 1st, 2024. I'm in the city of Walla Walla in Walla Walla County, Washington State. I'm heading to the Walla Walla County, or excuse me, Walla Walla School District Service Center. This has been uh, part of a growing series of tips and leads, a real glut of them that have come as a consequence of a story I did back in December at the Auburn School District in Auburn, Washington. Uh, as a consequence of that story, I started receiving a lot of tips and leads about uh, bus service centers, basically the transportation depot, motor pool, whatever you want to refer to it as, for school districts, having all manner of issues with their uh, buses and equipment not being safe or and or uh, the environment not being safe because it all centers around the idea that there are uh, that there are children being transferred from one bus to the next uh, that happens at a bus depot uh, service center etc so I'm going here to see if that's actually the case because the tips and leads I, re I received regarding this location are uh, that they are doing these transfers like at other locations allegedly around the state and that they're being done in an, in an unsafe way. This all spawns from, as I said, the Auburn School District, but specifically Jim DeJong, who is, if I understand it correctly, is titled the transportation manager for the district. So I'm going to see if in fact that is the case. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure right here, you get a picture of Jim and his statement. Can't be, on, can't be on school property without a pass? Correct, we have to know who you are. Why is that? It's children's safety involved. Oh, are there children involved? Uh, yeah, people come in with buses all the time with kids on board, yep. signs restricting access. I would always make sure of that. Sometimes they tell you. Hey, how's Hello. it going? Not too shabby. Hey, I was wondering if I could get a public records request form. Uh, so you would need to go to the district office for that one. I, I do not do Ooh. those, or we don't do those in the, this office here. 
Uh, you just got a blank piece of paper I could use in? I, I can give you that. Great. Uh, yeah. yeah you know, Appreciate yeah, it. They do need to go through our, our district office. Well, I'll just, I mean, I'll just leave it with you if you want to fax it or scan okay. it, email it, whatever. That's okay. fine. Yep. Um, let's see. I'll just, if you don't mind me using your counter space here. All right. I will get that to our HR. Yeah, I really appreciate it, man. Yep. Thanks. What was your name? Uh, Charles. Steve. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. And you said um, transportation is over there. Yeah, transportation is right next door. Cool. It's All right. That building there. Thanks, man. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. What can I do for you? Well, I'm looking to see who I would ask a question of, which is uh, whether kids get transferred sometimes from one bus to another at this bus bar. You might want to talk to the director. Is he available? Let me see. Ah, cool. And who are you with? I'm just myself. Okay. Just curious, uh, I got some emails from some folks saying that there were transfers of children sometimes from one bus to another that happens at this bus barn uh, as a consequence of their movement effectively getting back to school or back home after school is over. Does that ever happen? No. So like... The only time that that could possibly happen is it that if a driver's having a problem with the bus on route totally makes sense yeah and they're close by here okay they might pull in here and we switch buses then that makes but, sense but as a norm uh -uh, no never never happens basically no, as the norm interesting okay and then another question i had is uh some condition issues i i got an email that there were some allegations that there's some condition issues with the flooring on the bus so, like, so who are you with again myself and so what's with the camera and the oh it's just part of what i use for work and your work is i uh, working on stories for myself so and the mask is that for covid well i mean you can probably hear my sexy uh very white voice right now unfortunately i've got a cold so yeah that's what it's for okay. not wanting to give anybody else a cold Okay. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm just curious about. The report that I got was that people are saying, or some people, very few, but some people are saying, hey, there's some uh, problems with the floorboards on the bus. So, like, if you were to walk onto the bus and then walk down the aisle to get to a seat, that some of the buses have condition issues with the do flooring. You, do you have a bus number? No, I was not given a bus number, unfortunately. That's why I'm, I'm just kind of starting with generally speaking does that sound anything so no but I, but i'm open as a book if you would like to go look at a bus but if you don't have a bus number then yeah i, I wasn't i wasn't given a bus number i can tell you that uh washington state patrol inspects our buses twice a year okay. um in the summertime they do every single bus out here okay and then in the winter time they do uh 20 that's a that's a 11 they randomly pick 11 buses and they go through them hmm. and we pass at 100 percent okay so no out of service buses i've actually heard that from some other it's interesting you mentioned that because i've heard that from actually some other school districts but on the other hand i have with other school districts you're very forthcoming with that other school districts have not said that at all so so and what's your name uh steve steve yeah just just steve well i mean if you're not willing to be forthright with me then this interview is probably going to be over. Oh, really? How come? Well, because I don't know what you're doing here. Just working on something. Okay. Have a great day. Wow. Okay. You too. So, sir, is there anything else that you wanted to comment on about? Or? Here, let me show you where the door is. Right this way. 
Whoa, hey. Right this way, please. Hey, you're touching me. No, I'm asking you, you to leave. You need to back off. Do I'm you asking you to leave the premises. I'm not leaving the Let's premises. The on the phone, it's Maggie. a public. Maggie, yes. give, me, give me the police, please. Don't ever touch me. Please again. exit. Okay. Please exit. I'm not. I have business to conduct here. No, I do. No, your it's business gone. has been concluded. Thank you. How do you know that? Because I'm asking you to leave. You can't tell me when I can do my business and not during open hours, sir. Okay, please. You understand? Please. I'm, I'm asking you to leave. I have business to do here. Okay. Okay. I'm asking you to leave, please. And I'm not going to leave. Okay. Back off, Gina. Just back off. It's okay. <laughs> That is crazy, man. Correct. Who is? He is. In the main office. Gene Thompson. Jeez. Uh, why? I also do need to get a public records request there, Director. You need to submit that through uh, the district uh, office. Yeah, and if you look at the Attorney General's website, you can do it in person at any open office. to include this one, okay? That's his guidance to every office in the state. Do you all refer to this office as the, the transportation center or what does the district refer to it as? Bus barn or service center? I know. So I know different districts refer to it differently. Um, the drivers use it as a bus barn. Bus barn. Okay. I'll just do that. What's What's the address? Does this Does this building have a separate address, like as opposed to the support services building? might want to talk to the director about okay. this. Hey, director, I'm filling out this public records request here. Do you guys have a separate address to this building as, a for, as opposed to the support services building? Yeah, we do. What's the address here? Okay. It's 1162. 1162. Antley Street? That's okay. correct. Is it like a north or south or is it just Antley Street? Just in there, okay. We can go back here and talk some okay. if you want real quick. Ma'am, I've got a records request here I want to submit, and then uh, if, it, if it's possible, if I could get a copy of the records request, maybe Hold stamp. On a okay, sure. Requesting that you trespass at the for what? What crime did I commit? They don't have to have a crime. It's a private property. They don't have to have a crime. It's a private property. They don't have to have a crime. It's a private property. So they can. It's private property. Well, the school district can trespass for any reason. Want. Yes. Even if you're doing public records so, requests. That's why I asked if you're finished with your paperwork. So. Are you finished with your paperwork? I am. I also need to petition. Okay. Well, what do you need to petition? Seek redress of grievances. Okay. Well, it's one of the five have things. Have you submitted your paperwork? No, I'm getting ready to do it. So okay. am I going to be allowed to petition or not? Or are you guys trespassing me before I petition? Uh, you can file petition paperwork remotely if you need to. If I can't petition in person? 
If that's for them, you can go ahead and give it to I them. I can't petition in person? Uh, you can do it by mail because we're going to be trespassing you as soon as you're done exchanging paperwork. Oh. So you won't be able to physically be here. Who, who's actually doing the trespass? Is it him? Nope. It's actually uh, Dr. Smith, Wade Smith. Who is is the, that the superintendent or something? Yeah. Okay. All right. Place. So I'm being trespassed? Yep. Okay. And obviously, if I don't leave, I'd be under arrest. Correct. Okay. Would you like to provide identification? Ooh, no. All right. No, no, no. But what I would like to do, if I could get assistance uh, with one thing, and obviously, this isn't for you guys. It's. Oh, I understand. Actually, actually it's to protect you guys, well, in all fairness. What I would like to please. get is the 115 declaration form by them filled out. Now, obviously, you don't have to provide me with that, okay. but they have to fill it out just saying. Who was the person you said? Doctor who? Doctor Wade Smith. Wade Smith. Okay, so if I could get the from the trespass statute, section one fifteen, the declaration form, if I could get Doctor Smith to complete that so I can do a public records request for that declaration form okay. later. So as far as when we receive a request for trespassing, they don't have to fill any paperwork. We just have to hear that from them verbally. And he told us over the phone. And now, Fair enough. So. Uh, let me, if you don't mind me asking you a, a quick question here. Sure. Would you be willing to allow me to secure and present evidence that demonstrates the opposite of what you're saying? Because I have it in my hand right now. If I could show you something from the state legislature's Well, let's statute. go over here away from yeah, the front sure. door. And you, you bet. Can, you can show me how to And you know, obviously it's not like I can grab your hand and make you write it out for me. No. But I mean, if I can at least show you what sure. I've got. Hey, if nothing else, yep. then, nope. you know, I'm just, just, what I want to do, the whole point of what I'm about to show you is so that I can seek civil remedy okay. down the line. And that's why the legislature did this. So right. if you look at the... Uh, well, that's why I want to make sure you had your paperwork turned in. Yeah, no, 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 so. I appreciate it. I yep. mean, you know, we can politely disagree about what's going on here. I'm not looking for any... I'm not here to take sides. We, we're well, requested thank you. I appreciate pass, that. So that's exactly that's, how it's supposed to be. You're yeah. here for me just as you are for them. So if you can just read the top part of that, that is from okay. the Washington State Legislature. It's section 115 of the trespass statute. It just requires them to fill that out. Them, not you guys. Okay, so here. So where it says May. Well, hold oh, on. I know, but I'm just saying that the first thing I'm noticing is this isn't a shall, which isn't required. They can. So. Except for when you complete it or when you go through the rest of it, it says by providing to law enforcement. So yeah, the, they that, may. So they the just have to tell us verbally and we can accept that because we will do uh, notes in the call that we received an authorized trespass request by a person that's appointed to do so, which would be the superintendent. Correct. But the, for them, like I said, are these all not, the same? Yeah. Oh, it, it doesn't require you guys to fill anything out. It's basically the trespassor in order okay. to trespass the trespasser mm -hmm. uh, from their allegation oh, okay. uh, has to complete this. And the whole point is actually to indemnify you guys so that you guys are basically saying, hey, I'm going to trust, I guess, Dr. Smith in this case. I'm going to trust Dr. Smith that those 10 things listed right there are met. Those conditions are met. And so that if I go to seek civil remedy, which is right up here for rcw4 mm -hmm. that i can then take this to court and say hey look the police officers did their due diligence they showed up they listened to dr smith's argument it appeared to be cogent and met all the conditions he testified to it he swore under penalty of perjury that he has the the right to limit my access to this place what i would do i'm not gonna compel them to fill anything out but you do have the recording of me explaining that we talked to him on the phone i, so do. I think that would probably suffice for what you're trying to do well not for his know. perjury because the problem is well, is it, it, it unfortunately based on precedent that's been established in washington state it it pulls in a commingling degree of of liability for the police department that's doing trespassing whereas if you guys show up and just say hey dr smith uh, we totally get it we just need you to test to this based on what the statute says and if you're going to do that great we'll trespass him he's out of here if he screws up as it's found in court then you guys just go <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't know what to tell you, but we took your word when we showed up, and 
there's nothing we can do here, so. Yeah, well, I mean, and we're acting within our policy by just accepting it verbally without filling anything out, and so then that would come down to the city attorney defending us instead of having a document. So that's oh. what our current policy and procedure doesn't require us to get a written document. To yeah, and I get it. I mean, obviously, so. you guys are going to follow what your your chief and your council has done. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing your your city attorney probably went to Seattle University. They're kind of like the C minus D plus attorneys. Uh, no idea. You guys got to hire a better one. <laughs> Maybe Gonzaga or something like that. All right. Is there so. anything else we can help you with? Uh, no, no. I uh, so unfortunately. Just, just okay. so you know, obviously, you don't give us in your name and information. That's fine. That's yeah. your prerogative. But if you do come back, we recognize you either from our body camera footage, their footage, and you are found to be trespassing within the next two years from today. Two years. You could be arrested, yes. Two years. They okay. arrested and, two years. And, and I just want to make sure I get this. So what you're articulating is that the reason for the trespass is any reason at all. They can, for any reason, whether it's causing a disturbance to doing something unlawful or, you know, like I said, they can do it for any reason that they want. Even lawful reasons. I, that's why I asked if you finished your paperwork because you came here to fill something <laughs> well, out. Well, like and, I, that's why I was articulating, yeah. you know, that, that First Amendment has those five beautifully enumerated clauses within it. One of them is to petition your government to seek redress of grievances. And that man right there, I need to petition to seek redress of grievances with in person. Definitely be, you can make a phone call to the school district office to get your public records request that will, I'm sure, contain some sort of report or correspondence from him. But what well. I'm here and today it will is, be in ours. So if you want to request public records request sure, from sure. the police department, yeah. you go to the city of well, well, his website and under the police tab there's an next request portal okay. and uh, I'll give you the case number if okay you want. and what is the exact like location that I'm tra is it just all this parcel? Walla Walla school district all Walla Walla yes. school district for, yeah, for we are years. at 1162 Antley Street gotcha. right so I can't go to uh, school board meetings and petition the elected officials to seek redress grievances there either then if you plan to come to an open public open meeting I would call ahead to see if they're gonna allow you to attend that uh, uh, but as far as coming to the district office or this office uh, I would definitely call ahead to make okay. sure you're not violating Fair enough. that trespass. Well, look, you know, I mean, we can have a polite disagreement. It is what it is. Yep. Uh, you, sir, have just uh, brought an enormous amount of civil liability on you. And uh, you can uh, laugh it off, shrug it off, and think you got some sort of immunity. They have QI. You do not, sir. So that's going to be a hefty uh, day in civil court. That uh, Seventh Amendment's like a bullet train for your wallet, sir. It's going to run right over the top of you in court. Play silly games, win silly prizes, okay? Good luck 2024 on that. 2024-3440 is our incident number. Gotcha. Oh, do you guys have business cards? 3440. I don't have a business card, but I can tell you my name. It's Sergeant yeah. Miri. Miri? Yep. Okay, gotcha. What's your badge from? 293. 293. You yep. got a business card? Oh, is yeah. it oh. Stedman? Got stickers, but those are... You, you have one? I do not. Okay, that's fine. I'm off street. No, uh, that's fine. Uh, you mind if I get both your badge numbers? 245. 211. 211. Okay, great. And I know it's kind of implied, but we record as well. We have body cameras. Oh, yeah. So well, I mean, hey, there's, you know, it's not a two-party consent right. state unless it's in private, right? right? So, Perfect. anyways. All right. All right. Well, it. have a good day. Hey, everyone. Okay, I'm back. I'm heading down to the Walla Walla Police Department to lodge a complaint and see if I can get this document, this declaration form completed. It does need to be required, uh, completed by law. So I'm going to go and do that. technician okay, I'm just well, what can I do for you? here to petition okay what well, what are you um, wanting to petition uh, some sort of a uh, leader manager for a complaint I need to file okay would you be able to give me your name and info so I can enter it so no. they're aware that they're what they're no, I, I can tell you what it's related to okay, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was just unlawfully trespassed from the Walla Walla School District, I'll, I'll call it the Transportation Center, their bus okay. barn, whatever that is. So it's regarding that. That was that. today? Yeah, it's about an hour ago? An hour. 45 okay. minutes ago? Okay. Somewhere around there. All right. Let me pull up. Okay. Okay. 
And would you be able to tell me your name, sir? No. Okay. It's about that. Okay. Yeah, it could have been a little bit, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. It, it's ballpark right around there. Okay. I mean, I can't redress grievances with you. I mean, you seem like a nice guy, man. Yeah. Like I, just, like I said, I'm the only one here today. You're welcome to call. Leave a there's message literally no lieutenant, back. police chief, captain, yeah, I am, commander. Yeah, I admit today. So, wow. Yeah, Friday right afternoon. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just me. Um, but like I said, you are welcome to come back Monday. Uh, Tell you captain, what. I'll, I'll, if you can, I mean, because I'm just here anyways, I'll take maybe two minutes of your time tops. I'd like to maybe give this a second chance. Okay. If you still disagree with me, okay. that's why we have civil remedies. In, on the second chance on which part? On, on the uh, on the 115 statute. Okay. Yes. Yeah, like I said, we are, the way our policy works and our guidance is we don't have to require a written notification for trespass. We can do it with a verbal request. Correct. I think, I think where you and I are disagreeing and it's trying to make it a polite disagreement here oh, wow. is uh it, it's it's that there's there's two functions that happen so there's your side of the fence you're absolutely i completely agree with you right. actually yeah. there's there's piles of case law that says a police officer when they believe that the trespass is lawful can either give it orally or written absolutely right. your discretion i'm not disagreeing with that what I'm disagreeing with is the obligation of the trespasser, okay. and that's that's all I'm saying here. When you when you read this, and I just that's why I wanted to read just read right. this one more time here, if I could. The whole point of this right here. Of course, this don't want to open. Just a second. Here. Would you like me to give that to the superintendent to see, ask him if he wants to fill it out? And yes, it to you? because because okay. here here's, I'm, I'm willing to send it to him, but I, I appreciate can't it. obligate him to fill it out. Well, so. and you know that's on him, and at that point the trespass wouldn't be valid. The only thing I was going to say is is because I think what you and I were disagreeing about earlier is it says the owner of premises or his or her authorized agent may initiate the investigation. The right. shall part has nothing to do with whether there's is this this. Oh, yes. That's yeah, the, so I think that essentially when somebody that has the right over property to refuse somebody's service or have them on the property, that would be seen as them having me trespass you, be the authorized agent in that sense. You don't want to but do that. I, I don't want to be yeah. acting in as, in, as an agent, exactly. a private entity. But um, that's why I think this is more for. Uh, private it seems like it might apply more to like a private property like residence or I can appreciate that there you know, is that's, there's a moderate amount of case law I'm not gonna say right. piles but right. there's a moderate yeah. amount of case law regarding that section of that statute okay that discusses uh, agency and whatnot the whole like I said the whole point of that section for that statute was actually to indemnify police officers because when you guys right. show up and you say Adam here wants Alex gone. Right. You don't know the relationships between anyone, and so you guys are not put. You guys are put in a position to avoid the civil issues. Right. And right? we reasonably have a duty to investigate to make sure that person has the authority to. And have actually, that person trespassed. if you don't mind, I'm so glad to hear you say that, Sergeant, because that's in section one zero five. Which is why. I brought that as well. What's this one? Oh, is this it's a the previous one. one. And oh, okay. just a, a fun fact for you, you know uh -huh. the, uh, the, well, it's blue this year, the criminal handbook you guys usually carry in your pockets so you can quickly reference. Yeah, the little, uh, yeah, little RCW handbook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Section 105 and section 115. Okay. It's not in there. Oh, which so is terrifying. I actually, we don't get new ones every year. So oh, okay. I don't have one for this year. I, I have usually... one for 2024 okay. and I, I double checked it because I actually kind of feel like the, I mean, obviously it's your guys' responsibility by I say your guys' The police department. The police yeah. department. Mm -hmm. I find it upsetting though that, and, and frankly incredulous that the company that produces those, those books does not include 105 and 115 because when you look at the 105 part, it actually says in subsection three right here mm -hmm. that police officers are required, which is why I use the exact language I did, to right. secure and present evidence. 
And so to secure and pre present my evidence on public property, since that school district is publicly right. owned, it has Correct. elected board, uh, board uh, directors of the board. Absolutely. That I have the ability to be there and do that. Now, like I said, it is what it is. It happened. It's done. It's over. Um, and, you know, I'll seek redress of grievances through civil remedies. But what I wanted to do is see, I think if there's nothing else that can be done, at least have the police department re remove liability from you guys and put it squarely on Dr. Smith's shoulders because... Well, like I said, I can't compel him to fill and return this form, but I can send it to him and sure. say this is what you're requesting to be filled and is your return information on the paperwork you gave them? Uh, I gave my email address that, to officers. Is that acceptable for you? Oh yeah, sure, okay. that's no problem. So, and like, like I said, and there could be a reason, obviously, printed document, I can't tell if this is current up to date today Absolutely so what agree. we usually do is i'll look it up online yeah go right to verify the so yeah. i don't know why it wouldn't be included in the book if it's included i you know it's well. really it's really an important thing because honestly i think uh just wax a little poetic for a moment i think one of the biggest advantages to police departments would in fact be if that was used regularly every mm -hmm. single time something happened Man, you guys would have no trespass lawsuits ever because right. you'd just be no. like, hey, That's Steve, Alex, Dr. Smith, whatever. Right. You got to fill this out. And then it's under penalty of perjury, as it says by the legislature. So then they got to really think as they go down that checklist, is this really true and accurate? Because right. if it's not, well, I'm going to people wrecked. makes people rethink whether they are just trying exactly. to get somebody out, out of Exactly. Yeah, because you guys so. have other crap you need to do. Well, you know I, what I mean? I don't disagree, but okay. like I said, usually we do our due diligence in saying, hey, I asked the guy when we got there, do you have authorization to ask anybody to leave and have him trespass? He said no. So then we called the superintendent who would have who would have it who would be the person I would think exactly is the and so that's the whole point that's kind of how we do our due diligence and if it's a private residence okay who lives here who has the rights to the property same thing yep. so uh, that's just it's sort of going about the process without a checklist in now, writing here's my that's request right. to you mm -hmm. is since you were the officer that trespassed me what I would politely request is this if Dr. Smith uh, and actually two requests if you could reach out to counsel and ask them this and then have the conversation with uh, Dr. Smith. You right. could ask him, say, hey, look, um, if you don't complete this, that trespass is invalid. Well, that's not for me to decide. That's, well, for and that's why I'm, to, and that's why I'm right. saying if, yeah. I, if I could request you, just call the city right. attorney. Oh, I'll send him this and say him. that this was presented to us and this is something that you'd like to see done and what, you know, what is our yeah, because the big, requirement that, and fulfilling which this. Which one is up, up top here? Okay, so yeah, on 115, the mm -hmm. big thing is right there. So yep. that RCW in Title IV, yep. that's Which my civil remedy. So if he doesn't attest to it, though, right. what's going to happen is I'm going to go to court and I'm going to be like, Dr. Smith unlawfully trespassed me. Okay, well, where's the, where's the declaration form for his trespass? He didn't give one. And now all of a sudden it transfers, now the liability transfers to the police department because they're the ones that forced me off the property with the potentiality of arrest. And I'm saying you guys should just duck and cover and let Dr. Right. Smith own this. Well, right? and that's definitely something you can <laughs> argue if they don't move forward to yeah, and I, fill out the proper paperwork. And that's your prerogative. I just, like yeah. I said, for the way our policy and procedure is right now, I get it. as a verbal is good for us, as long as we take our due diligence to make sure that person yeah, has the authority the, to trespass. And again, I'm not disputing yeah. how you go about it. Did you want these? No, no, no. If you want to keep those. Okay. Just I can make a copy and give yeah. you back. No, that's all right. Sure? I'm, I'm okay. moving on for the day. I've, okay. I've got other stories I need to cover right. today. But uh, the, the main thing is just uh, I, I'd like to see this effective because it, it's going to bring things around to where people have to own and accept responsibility for something if it goes wrong. Right. And right now, if Dr. – you guys shouldn't have to accept responsibility for his mess up is basically what I'm saying. So well, when we get – called sometimes we get put in the mail things that are not pretty but yeah i get it i get <laughs> it you know, all right such is the job so okay well i appreciate it all thanks right. and i'll just uh, shoot an email after this as well I appreciate you being all right. respectful oh yeah hey golden rule man right there's enough acrimony yeah. in our lives we don't have to go and be crazy about yeah. stuff right exactly. there's gonna be enough trouble coming our way we don't need to go seek it out i agree with you <laughs> have a good day all right. Well, um, I'm glad he heard me out. I'm glad he's going to reach out to the uh, city attorney. That's fantastic. That's really all you can request in this situation. I mean, to do anything more, well, there really is nothing more to do. My outlook on these things is you have to treat this, this situation, this developing situation, 
as every single thing that's being done is gonna be viewed by a jury and or a judge and you know defense and defense counsel and all that kind of stuff. So all one can do is simply present this stuff, give them multiple opportunities to correct it. If they do, great. If they don't, it can show and does show that I have done everything within my power multiple times to amicably seek out a resolution that benefits everyone involved. And really what I'm hoping in this situation is that it, at that point leads to a corrective training scenario where when officers show up, they say, look, as long as you have the authority to get somebody off of this property, we'll accept that, but you need to declare it under penalty of perjury. Because the idea is if they're doing it unlawfully, then they're violating your rights to be where you currently are present at. And that's the whole idea behind that. So that's it here for today. Uh, I'm gonna call this good. I'm gonna file, I'm gonna send emails to the uh, city and go about it that way uh, as well, which will be included here. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that all notifications bell so you can get my stories right when they release. You can follow me on X and I am free auditing. And if you want to help keep my feet on the streets, you can do so by going to the links in the description for Cash App and Venmo. Also, I forgot, you can now follow me on Facebook at I, or excuse me, at Inland Auditing Media. Thanks for watching. Bye.